Hello everybody, welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to see how to get an internship in Coca-Cola Life Sciences, right? So today in this video, we are going to see a little bit about the company Coca-Cola and what is the role of life sciences in this company? What are the different types of internships that's available? What are the different fields of internship that's available? What is the eligibility, uh, you know, if you want to apply for internship at Coca-Cola? What is, you know, how do you apply it? and when do you apply so all of these questions are going to be answered in this particular video so do watch it till the end i'm dr vaishali academic specialist at biotechnica biotechnica is a space where we guide you in anything and everything regarding your bioscience career come let's explore the topic Coca-Cola was started way back in 1886 and today as of today they have around more than 200 brands and thousands of beverages under the you know the brand Coca-Cola right and it's also operational in multiple countries and all of these countries do give out internship and employment as well so Coca-Cola ranges from soft drinks and water soft drinks and water to coffee and teas as well so this is the range of products that coca-cola has we all know it as a soft drink product only but then you can see that there is a variety of products that is there from coca-cola right so the next thing that we're going to see is the role of life sciences in coca-cola right so how is life sciences going to play a role in the beverage companies such as coca-cola right so the first and foremost is the quality control right because there's going to be production of beverages in this particular company and it's going to go out on an everyday basis right so for every batch there should be quality has to be assessed and you know you need to see if all the operations are properly done all the standard operating procedures are followed etc so all of this is done by the quality control team hence it plays a major role the second is the regulatory affairs so regulatory affairs as in what are the mandate from the government whether it's national or the global and what are the mandate from the environment regulations so all of these come into regulatory affairs so if uh, you know you need to have a little bit of background on policy but you should also have a lot of technical background as as well that is how a beverage company works like for example if you're doing a food science then you might have very good knowledge about this so that particular knowledge is also important if you're going to work in the regulatory affairs or in this particular division of coca-cola right the third is microbiology now why microbiology because obviously when we're talking about quality of any food or any beverage for that matter you need to make sure that there is no contact contamination in the product so yes microbiology and microbiologists are important in this particular company the next is the research and development right so to come up with products to come up with enhanced products to increase the quality the taste and all of that so coca-cola uh, you know keeps investing in its research and development as well so yes so uh, you know these days they're coming up with newer alternatives for example like sugar alternatives right or for recipe generation for recipe generation right so these are the different types of R&D that coca-cola keeps doing so in all of these areas uh, you know the life science plays a major role the third thing we are going to look at today is the internship at coca-cola now why do we call it a unique experience right so first and foremost foremost it's going to give you an in-depth experience about what uh, you know the operations what is the operation procedure and what is the R&D procedure all of that is going to give you an in-depth experience and you are going to work with real life work challenges right so that is one the third is you're going to get hands-on experience as well so coca-cola is one of those companies that values its interns a lot so it gives a lot of um, 
exposure to its interns in in the fact that it gives you hands on experience in all of the matters that your project contains secondly you're going it's going to be a fully paid internship the internship generally lasts for 10 or to 12 uh, weeks right depending on the internship that you're applying for so and this internship will be a fully paid internship right the next is of course this internship is going to be all over the world because as we d discussed in our previous slides as well that uh, you know coca-cola company has uh, you know diversified in many countries it has operations in many countries so these internship opportunities are also available all over the world so that's how the internship here becomes a unique experience now, what is the different types of internships or what is the internship program at Coca-Cola called? It's called the Summer Internship Program, right? And there are various features that uh, officially Coca-Cola has uh, given out if in their internship program. So the first is it is a project-based work. That is, a particular project will be given to the intern and the intern will be working in that project. So you will obviously have your bosses and your fellow colleagues as well but it's going to be a project based work it's not just going to be an observation and um, you know record making but then it's going to be a proper project based work secondly you're going to get access to senior leadership so you're going to directly work with senior leadership and they are the one who are, who are going to mentor you as well so yes you are going to have you know good network and uh, especially after you finish and come out of uh, the internship you're also going to have a very good network uh, especially when you have uh, you know uh, interaction with the senior management right the next is internship events and workshops so there'll be a lot of events and workshops that happens at coca-cola and you as an intern will have the access for all of these workshops and these events as well and special and for interns specially also there'll be a few workshops that will be conducted from coca-cola site right the next is internship showcase to display your work to the organization so it's not just going to be you working and leaving it there but then you're going to um, you know submit a report as well and you're going to present it in front of the organization in front of the people in your team you're going to have an opportunity to display your work so that is another uh, good thing about this particular summer internship program right now, what are the different types of internships that's available? So there are three types of internships. So the first is the strategic internship. Here, uh, so students join after their graduation. So this is not during their uh, program, during their graduation program, but after their graduation, they can come and they can join for internship. The second is seasonal interns. So these interns are mostly MBA graduates where they work on different uh, business aspects, uh, say for example, marketing, finance, operations, business development, etc. Right. So it's basically for MBA graduates. The third is the academic interns who uh, come and join here during their graduation in exchange for their credits. So in your college, you might have this, um, uh, you know, necessity that mandate necessity that you need to do an internship. Only then you can get two or three credits. So that particular, uh, you know, interns are called the academic interns. So this is done during your graduation itself. And most of these internships also, if it comes out good, that is you and the company has a good rapport with each other then you can be absorbed as an as an employee as well so that is the advantage of doing internships at coca-cola now what are the different internship fields that is there in coca-cola that is we are going to see um, with respect to all the fields right so we're just going to list out the fields and then we're going to see which is life science uh, oriented field as well so the first is the information technology right the second is marketing third is retail sales finance technical supply chain public affairs operations r d and 
engineering right so these are the different fields uh, from which you can in which you can join as uh, an intern so this internship will be called out at different times so whenever there's a requirement they'll call out for the internship and then you can apply for it so in these particular fields what is specific for a life science student would be very few that is we might not focus on all of these aspects that's not in, in information technology or marketing sales finance not all of these but yes it can start from technical right this could be one of the life science field the second is operations third is r d fourth is engineering especially if it's by process engineering bioengineering that is involved in the production of coca-cola then yes engineering also comes into the life science segment so these are different segments so special mention about r d so most of the life science um, you know graduates will be interning in the r d department so these are the different fields in which you can intern at coca-cola now, what is the eligibility for this particular internship, right? So, as I already mentioned that this internship is being called at multiple countries and at multiple, uh, you know, uh, time as well. So, whenever there is a need, they call out for internship. So, obviously, there is no, uh, you know, fixed eligibility that's required for all of these internship. And so, it keeps changing depending on where and what is that role right so but i have listed a few general eligibility criteria that's required for a you know coca cola intern so the first is the communication skill they give a lot of important for communication skills second is graduation so it depends uh, you know whether you need to be a graduate or not because we saw there are three different types of uh, internships right or interns and depending on what intern is being called for so the graduation may or may not be required the third is that it's socially inclusive so the company itself is socially inclusive so it does doesn't depend on from where you're applying to which country you're applying so that is fine the next is about the internship report that is once you finish your your internship you need to prepare a report and submit it to the company and as well as give a display of your work to the organization so these are the requirements that is there from the company's side to take you or to hire you as an intern now after the eligibility let's see about when to apply right so generally for internships uh, the the coca-cola calls uh, has a call for for twice a year right the first one is during the fall that is approximately during september and the second is during january so this particular date is not fixed it could be at any time during these two months or even in between so to keep you updated to keep uh, if you're interested in internship at Coca-Cola or anywhere else for that matter, subscribe to Biotechnica and press the notification button because Biotechnica uh, keeps updating about the internship and job opportunities in its website as well as the YouTube channel and you can, you will not miss anything. So do subscribe for Biotechnica if you're interested in the internship at these places. The second is how to apply, right? So first of all, go to the website of Coca-Cola and in the website, there'll be a career search bar, right? The search bar in the jobs category, in that particular search bar, you need to type internships and all the internships that is available at Coca-Cola at that particular time will come out and it can be anywhere in the over the world right so we already talked about how um, internships are called out from anywhere around the world so if you have any particular location in your mind that you want to apply for internship then yes again subscribe to biotechnica because we will keep updating you on what is happening around the world so with this i come to the end of this particular discussion i'm sure it was super helpful for all those of you who are looking at doing an internship in life sciences at coca-cola if you have any more doubts or if you think there are more points to be discussed let us know in the comment section below we are very happy to listen to your insights thank you so much and see you all until next video